Hello. Today I want to talk a little bit about detectors. So if you go to settings and click detectors, um, you will find a place where you can add more detectors. And each of these different buttons represent a type of detector that you can create. And the most common used detector is the file watcher detector. So the file watcher detector allows the robot to raise an event every time a file gets created um, in a folder. So first of all, we can attach it to a project. That means that it's visible inside the project. And when you import or export that project, that detector is now part of that. Um, we can change the type uh, it used when it's sending messages to another thread. That's beyond this video. Uh, and we could give it a name, right? So let's create a process incoming uh, invoices detector. And the path that we want to check is incoming. Uh, we can also give it a filter. So this is common dust syntax. So start a PDF, for instance, means it will only react on PDF files. So if some other kind of file gets created, it ignores it. We can also watch subfolders. <coughs> um, but yeah, right now we're only going to watch the main folder or, or only that folder. We don't care about subfolders. Um, so once I have my detector, I can actually check that it works. So if I go to incoming and I clear the console path, if I paste in a copy of this file, you can see that I get a message down here telling me that the detector uh, got triggered. Nothing is listening for that right now, so nothing happens, but it shows us that it's actually working. So um, with that in place, I can now go in and show how that works, right? So first of all, we need to have a workflow that is reacting on that event getting raised. So we can add the detector activity and select the detector that we just created. Um, and that means that if I click run and I create a copy of the file, um, the workflow stopped. Uh, you didn't really see that. That was a stupid demo. So let's go in here and create a D event. Um, so the event result will contain the file name of the file that triggered the detector. So if I clear this and click run and I create a copy. So what happens now is that if I paste in the file, you can see that I now get the full path and file name of the file and the workflow stops. So we have two options now, because you usually want the detector to react every time something happens and not only once. So we could create a state machine. That's gonna take quite a lot of uh, effort right now. And just for demo purposes, there's a much easier way to make it always react on something. We basically add a do while with a condition of true, mean it's always true, so it will never stop and we can move our detector in here and the right line. So if I run this now, every time the detector gets triggered, um, it just does its thing and go back and it uh, again starts listening on detector events. So if I create a copy and paste it in, you can see that I got the file name and if I paste in, uh, what about copying that one? Go away. Uh, you can see that I now get a, 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 the, the path of the copy. And if I create another copy, I get copy two and copy three and so on. So what I can do now is we can actually start processing that. So if I stop this and I in work a workflow, I can now give it process PDF, map variables, there we go. Um, 
So now I can go in and take the event result and give it as a parameter to this workflow. So this workflow will take the file name that just triggered the detector as a parameter and it will move it into the folder processed. So if I run this now <coughs> and click paste, the file got moved into processed. Um, the way it does that is it just waits one second to simulate it's actually doing something and then it copies the file into that folder. Nothing fancy. Um, but this gives us the option to actually have a workflow that processes the files as they're coming in. There's a small caveat about this and that is if calling this workflow takes a long time and new files gets created while it's running the detector won't be able to detect it because it's not listening it's busy waiting on this one so we have two options in that case um, the easy solution is to simply go in and don't wait for the workflow to complete so that means you can now have uh, there we go. Uh, by not killing existing working workflows and not waiting on it to complete, that means that if multiple files are coming in, you may have multiple versions of that workflow running at the same time. If the workflow doesn't break, if it doesn't, if that's not an issue, sure, that's the solution. Uh, another way that I mostly see is that people simply go in here and they do a for each. And what we are doing is we are basically saying get all the files that is in this path and let's call that file name. There we go. Um, and what you can do now is that for each file that is in that folder, we process that and then you return to the original workflow. That way, if more files are there, then the next time it gets triggered, it processes all the files that is inside there. That way you never lose files that, that yeah, you will always pick them up. Um, yeah, I hope this is helpful um, and good luck.